Toronto Mayor Rob Ford will carry out his remaining months in office with severely limited powers. Today, City Council voted to strip the mayor of his authority during emergency situations and his ability to appoint members to his executive committee. Another vote is expected on Monday. We'll have more on today's developments coming up shortly. It's been a week since Typhoon Haiyan ripped through the Philippines. Authorities say more than 3,600 people are confirmed dead and more than 600,000 are out of their homes. 118 members of Canada's Disaster Assistance Response Team are now on the ground in the heavily hit city of Iloilo. 70 more are expected to arrive Saturday, including seven medical personnel. The DART team will also help clear roads, repair basic infrastructure and provide clean drinking water. As leaders from across the Commonwealth gathered in Sri Lanka today for a biennial summit, Prime Minister Stephen Harper was conspicuously absent. Both Harper and India's Prime Minister are boycotting the meeting to draw attention to Sri Lanka's poor human rights record. British Prime Minister David Cameron is in Sri Lanka for the summit and he's been very vocal with his concerns about human rights abuse. Well, I think it's important to shine a spotlight on what's happened in this country and to uh, speak up against uh, abuses that have taken place. The summit has been overshadowed by protests and allegations of state-sponsored rape and torture. China's Communist Party says it's loosening its one-child policy. Changes to a key policy document will now allow couples to have two children, but only if one of the parents is an only child. Changes to the document will also abolish the country's much-criticized labor camp system put in place in the 1950s to punish early critics of the Communist Party.